Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to factor. Ah, it hit on the tip. That's OK. It's all right. It's good. Um, so I'm going to show you how to factor this. Now, when we're looking at a, a polynomial, and they're asking us you know, to kind of factor it. We automatically got to kind of step back when we have more than three terms. Um, because basically, the only factoring techniques we've looked at is three terms or less, right? Um, two terms, you always look at GCF, uh, difference of two squares, or sum or difference of two cubes. Three terms, we look at GCF, and also you know, factoring using our trinomials, AC method or you know, the diamond method. But when we have four terms, there's really only one way that we can factor it. And that is by grouping. And if it doesn't work by grouping, then it's non-factorable. So factoring by grouping, what we're simply going to do is we are going to group the first two terms. And the way that we group them is by parentheses. So I just insert parentheses inside of each of the first two and the last two terms. Now what I do is I'm going to factor out the GCF separate of each one of these groupings. So I group these first two, and I say, all right, if I could factor out the GCF of these two, what would it be? Well, the GCF of um, x cubed and 7x squared is going to be uh, just uh, an x squared. That's the only term I can factor out. So I write x squared. Let's go back to this. So when I factor out an x squared, I'm just left with an x plus 7. Then I look at this one and say, all right, what can I factor out over here? Well, I can factor out a positive 5. So when I factor out a positive 5, I'm left with an x plus 7. Now, what I, by doing this, what I want you to notice, when factoring by grouping works, you can see that inside these red parentheses is now the exact same expression, which is x plus 7. So since that is common amongst both of these expressions, right, the x times x plus 7 and the 5 times x plus 7, since they both share an x plus 7, I can now factor out an expression x plus 7. And when I factor out the expression x plus 7, I'm just left with x squared plus 5. But then, ladies and gentlemen, I have now successfully factored a polynomial with four terms by grouping. Thanks.